Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be going over my product empties, the things that I have finished, and the things that I've gone completely through. I have a pretty good little amount of stuff in here for you. Most of these things I absolutely loved. One of them I hated, but I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to throw it out, so... You'll hear about that in a second. We're gonna get right into that, but before we do, I hope you guys enjoy this new change of scenery. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to film during the daytime since I started my channel. I work full-time at a hotel, and I also do around 13 hours of classes a week, so I am pretty busy, and I usually only have time to film when I get home, but today I have sunlight, so you guys get to see me a little bit better in the light, and you can a little bit of a brighter atmosphere so it's not as depressing. I'm sorry that I have to film at night so much, but new change of scenery, so hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into these products. The first thing I have to go over with you guys is the Now Solutions Almond Oil. This I love, it is so moisturizing and hydrating. I put it on my skin after I've done a long bath or something like that and I did a heavy exfoliation. This stuff really nourishes the skin and it puts moisture back into the body. I don't really see it breaking me out, but I don't use it on my face for prolonged periods of time. Like I'll do an oil mask on my face with this and maybe um, coconut oil or something like that. And it doesn't break me out, but I've never left it on overnight. Or another use that I have for this is cleansing my makeup off. If you guys haven't seen my DIY makeup cleansing balm, I'll put the link right here. But whenever I run out of this stuff, I will use this instead. So that is my first product empty. My second product empty is from Sea Breeze. It is the Deep Clean Astringent. There are two types of this. One is um, this one that I have. This is the yellow one. The other one's blue. I think that is. I think that one's more for oil balancing. I'm not sure, but these I love. They do a great job of cleaning your makeup off. And personally, I kind of like the sting that they give. Do you? My next product empty is the DDF Ultra Moisturizing Dew. And this stuff is my favorite moisturizer. This is the fifth one of these that I've gone through. A tiny, tiny little dab like on your cheek will go over the entire cheek and maybe a little bit on the other side. It's very liquidy, it goes on beautifully. It feels so good to apply, it's like silk, your skin's so soft, and this does not break you out at all. It is, as it says, ultra light, ultra light. It is ultra light, and it's, it's a dew. It gives you a really dewy finish. It doesn't look very matte or anything like that, or greasy. You just look like you have very refreshed skin. It is, however, a $40 moisturizer, so, it's pretty expensive, but it, as I said, it lasts for a really long time. One of these will usually last me about two to three months if I'm good with it. In the winter, a little bit less. In the summer, I use this every day and not too much of it, so I love this stuff. The next empty I have is kind of a random one. It's toothpaste. I guess we're doing toothpaste now. I've been seeing that in people's videos. I use the Crest 3D White Luxe. It's toothpaste. I don't... I don't know. You guys have used toothpaste, so... I don't have much to say about this, I just like the way it tastes and it makes my teeth clean. I mean, when you read the active ingredients of toothpaste, every single toothpaste has basically the same thing, so I don't know what the difference is. It's in my mind, I guess it's Lux for my teeth. So next up is the Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10 Maximum Strength Benzoyl Peroxide. I hate benzoyl peroxide. This was actually, I have two things I guess that I had to force myself to finish. I love salicylic acid and my skin just takes better to it. So this stuff right here I only use if I have like the most ridiculously stubborn pimple in the world and I just want to dry the sucker out. So I'll use that. This I've actually had probably for about seven months. I've been just using it like once every other week. So not very often. Yeah. The next product empty that I have is the Laura Mercier, <laughs> Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in Sand. Sorry, I just waved that around, I don't know. This is so amazing, guys. I'm sure you've seen tons of reviews on this product. It is a beautifully, beautifully formulated product. It goes on smoothly. It gives light to medium coverage, so what a tinted moisturizer should. But it doesn't feel too greasy, even though it has SPF in it. And I have found that when I take pictures with it, I don't get a white cast from it. The only thing that I do not like about this product is I feel like instead of having like a mineral SPF or something like like an organic SPF, they just put straight sunscreen in here because this does tend to break me out sometimes. I still really like the product, it goes on beautifully. If I don't want to wear foundation, then this is what I go for. So I will be repurchasing this, but using it probably in the winter months when my skin isn't as oily. 
And of course, the thing that I had to force myself to finish, the simple exfoliating towelettes. I've previously been using these simple cleansing towelettes, which are super gentle. The fabric is like, it feels like linen, not linen, linen scratchy. It feels like really soft cotton. It's just really nice and gentle. It lightly exfoliates, I feel like, even though it's not an exfoliating product. So that being said, my skin loves exfoliation. So when I um, saw these, I got really excited. I was like, oh my gosh, that is, does two things in one. It has the same ingredients as the cleansers that I love but it exfoliates at the same time. Little did I know that these are sandpaper in a package. I mean, it hurts. It really, really hurts to take your makeup off, especially if you're getting near your eye area or under your under eye. And I am someone who is not sensitive. I do a monthly exfoliation with coffee grounds. Yeah, I mean, my skin can take a lot, but these are just incredibly uncomfortable. They do not feel nice. When you go down your neck to cleanse your neck, it, it, it exfoliates, yes, it does do what it says, but it's not comfortable. So these, I just couldn't stand to just throw them out or I, and I hate returning things, so I forced myself to finish them, but I will not be repurchasing. I went straight back to the regular cleansing wipes. This is another beauty empty that I went through. I've had this for a very long time, actually. I got this through Birchbox Points. So thanks, Birchbox. Um, this is the Dr. Jart Pore Penetrator. And what this stuff is, it's a little like pump out serum. It's very gooey. You spread it all over the skin and you leave it on for, I think, about 10 or 15 minutes. I usually leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes. And after that, you rub your skin a little bit more and it starts turning into this um, like crumbly, I don't even know how to describe it. It's as if glue dried, kind of, um, that flakes and whatnot. So you get these flakes on your skin, but that's the dead skin and toxins that it pulled out and collected into the gel layer. And now you're just rubbing it off and exfoliating. So this stuff I really love. It's great for clearing blackheads. Um, it is quite expensive if you don't get it with points like I did. That was the only reason I got it. It's a tiny little thing too. So there are other products out there that I've seen that do the same thing. So if you guys don't want to spend the money, I wouldn't. It's a fabulous product, but again, there are things that I have found that do the same thing or better, but I still really liked this and yeah, I finished it. The next thing that I finished was the Sugar Lip Therapy. I was really sad when I finished this because it is a $30 chapstick, and I know that sounds stupid, but I have the most severely chapped lips of all time. I always have. I picked this up, I'd seen a lot of reviews on it. I think um, Tiffany D talked about it once in Fleur, and I know Ingrid has talked about it, so that is why I picked this up. Thank you guys for the recommendation. I really, really love this stuff. I don't know if I repurchased it simply because I did go through it pretty quickly, and it it's $30 for chapstick. but. It's still in the back of my mind. If I am ever in Sephora again and I have points, I might get it. Next Beauty Empty is one of the things I hate purchasing. It is setting spray. I hate buying setting spray because you go through it so quickly. It's quite expensive if you want a good one. I've tried the NYX and the e.l.f. one and it really, honestly, it does not compare to the Skindinavia. I'm pretty sure they're uh, Skindinavia setting spray and Urban Decay. Um, the oil control, the setting spray sprays, the setting spray sprays are formulated by the same person, but this I prefer. It doesn't feel sticky. I find that sometimes the um, all-nighter or the D-slick, that's what it's called, the D-slick, I feel like that can sometimes be a little sticky. This is really light. It feels like a water mist on your face and it really holds the makeup in beautifully. And it's a little bit cheaper too. So if you guys are looking for a good setting spray, don't go with the D-slick or the oil control one or the chill spray. This is much more affordable and it does the exact same thing. So guys, my third to last product, I know we're getting close, I'm sorry this has been so long, is the Visanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. So this is a micro exfoliation cleanser. Um, it's very, very fine. So it, when you first put it on, you almost like, well, it's not doing anything, but once it thins out and then you start rubbing, Oh, it's the nicest exfoliation. It's so fine. It's amazing. The product, unfortunately, is extremely expensive. This I got as a sample in Birchbox, I believe. So thank you, Birchbox, because you just introduced me to something that I now will have to forever spend so much money on. I believe it's like forty to fifty dollars. This the full size of this, and because I loved it so much, of course, I will be repurchasing the full size. Thanks, Birchbox. The second to last product that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about today is a face highlighter. It is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I'm sure you guys have seen me use this in one of my Get Ready With Me's or in my dramatic eye look for 
two eye look mondays ago this thing i love it is so smooth it goes on really creamy and blends beautifully i have tried the um ysl two chocolate i have tried the, I got a sample of the MAC, the similar one from MAC, the Prep and Prime Highlighting Concealing Pen. Don't like it. This is so much better. I don't know what it is. L'Oreal just hits the mark with face products, and I find that is very true for their concealers, especially. They're great. And if you guys don't want to spend the, I think it's $43 in the Touche Clot, this is a great alternative. Really like this. And come on, rose gold packaging, please. So the last and final product, guys, thank you for bearing with me for this whole video, is the Beauty Cleanser Solid. So what this is, is a beauty blender product. It's for your beauty blender and it cleans it. They do have a liquid, a liquid one as well, and I've heard actually pretty bad things about that. I've heard that it doesn't do too good of a job, it doesn't even clear your eye makeup off, or you're not supposed to do that. I mean, your brushes, it doesn't really do that. This stuff works so good. It's a little bar of soap and you swish your brushes around and you clean them. It does an amazing job. Your beauty blender as well, you just kind of mush it in there to get all the soap in the sponge and you just squish it around like this for a little bit and then you wring all the water out and it's perfectly clean. It's amazing. However, it is stupid expensive for a bar of soap. It's $15. So I am probably just going to go to CVS and get like an antibacterial hydrating soap from Dove or something like that. I don't really know what the difference could be. It's it's a soap. And this is my second one too. I got convinced into buying two of them. It does a really great job. So if you aren't comfortable maybe using soap for your body and you want something specifically formulated for your brushes, then sure, go ahead, spend the $15. But honestly, a lot of people clean their brushes with dishwash soap and olive oil, so take everything with a grain of salt, you know? So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. I really liked going over the things that I have finished and liked with you, and that one thing that I absolutely hated and would not recommend to anyone, so don't buy it. But aside from that, again, thank you for watching. And if you guys have not already seen my last video, which was the beauty scenario tag, I'll put it right here. My new friend on YouTube, Jonathan Curtis, tagged me in it. It was so much fun to do. And yeah, I will catch you guys later for next I Look Monday and next Thursday's video, which I don't know what it's gonna be yet. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me down, let me down, let me know in the comment bar down below. And I will catch you guys later. Bye. Scenery, so hope you guys enjoy the uh, little batch of uh, the next beauty, the next pro. Uh, are you recording? Ooh. My number sec, my number second. Hello, everyone. I'm from those uh, too stubborn to throw things away. No. That's not what it's called. Dead skin and just rejuvenating the skin. Rejuvenate skin, skin, skin. Let's say it 50 more times. Uh, Hillary pineapple, pe papaya. Uh. Oh my god, okay. Ready? Let's go.